it's getting a little windy. <laughs> it's time for another walk in Wales and here is what's coming up. Well, hello and welcome. A few weeks ago, we drove through the Rhondda Valley on the way up to the Brecon Beacons when we were doing the Honda Review. And at the time, I did say I would be back and show you some more of the beautiful Welsh scenery. So today, I'm going to do that. I'm going to drive up the Rhondda Valley to just past Treherbert and show you a beautiful walk up to a waterfall. Most tourists drive straight past it on the way up to the Brecon Beacons. But I'm going to stop and show you what you're missing. But saying that, it was sunny when I left the house, but now I'm in low clouds. And look at the scene behind me. Can you see that? It's very misty, but that's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna crack on and hopefully the weather will clear. So this is where I've stopped. Pen Peak Forest. It's not far from Teorki on the way up to the Brecon Beacons. And I've never been here before, and it's meant to be a really beautiful walk up the valley, past the waterfall to the top of the mountain. I think that route's three miles in total there and back. There is a longer circular walk, but I don't think I've got time for that today. I am rushing, by the way, because over there, there's some workmen doing some river defences and the machinery is really noisy so I'm trying to do it in the breaks from that so like I said most tourists drive through this area on the way up to the Brecon Beacons and they can be busy although they are beautiful they can be busy especially Penavan and the four waterfalls but this area is often overlooked by tourists locals know about it but it's much, much quieter. So next time you visit, come and take a look. Anyway, like I said, I haven't done it before. And especially in the autumn now, if you look over there in the trees, it looks really beautiful. So let's get started. And also the mist seems to be clearing as well. So hopefully when we get to the top, we will be able to see down the valley. I'm just starting the walk and a bit of advice when you do come. It's not the hardest of walks, but it can be steep in parts, apparently. And it is quite muddy, so you do need a good pair of boots. That's the advice I didn't take myself. I've just realised I've left my trainers on. So <laughs> I want to get a bit muddy. Hopefully it's not going to be too slippery. The next scene you'll see will be from the back of an ambulance. But anyway, I think it should be okay. I have to quickly interrupt. It's me from the future. A spoiler. I made it up and down without any injuries so anyway I interrupted because I forgot to mention on the way the car parking here is free which is quite rare these days anyway back on with the story but before I leave the car park just behind me there that little village is Blind Cum and that was the entrance to the the old Rhonda railway tunnel which connected the Rhonda valley to the Avon valley Blind Gwynvy and that was opened, I think, late 1800s. And it, there is a society who want to reopen that area as a cycle path. I think it's over 3,000 metres long. And they want to restore it and make it one of the longest cycle tunnels in the world, connecting Rhonda back to the Avon Valley. So I don't really know how far they've got with it. Uh, so I may look into that, but it'd be great if that happens. So if you know about the Rhonda Valley Railway Tunnel and their attempts to reopen it, let me know in the comments. Anyway, onwards. As you can see, the path from the car park 
is quite well defined so it's quite easy to follow the route unfortunately that mist is still in the air it's quite wet the climb so far hasn't been that bad it's not very steep and after about half a mile I've got my first glimpse of the waterfall. Just below me, you can't really see it because of the trees, but you can probably hear it, is the sound of the lower waterfall. And what is amazing today, not just the beautiful scenery, are the colours, the browns and the golds on the trees are amazing. Despite it being overcast, they're still really vibrant. Well, after three quarters of a mile, I've come to a spot now where you can see the lower waterfalls more clearly. Well, as you climb from the lower waterfall up to the upper waterfall, obviously you get to the top of the valley, it does get a bit steeper. It's not slippery. There are like, um, they've got a stone path constructed, but I would say you need to be fairly mobile to get up here. But it's definitely worth doing because the views just keep getting better. Well, this is amazing. Look at this. Just a mile and a quarter from the car park, I'm at Pen Peak Waterfall. And there's no one else here at all. This cracks me up about Wales. If this was anywhere else, there'd be a big coach parties and herds of tourists walking up. But there's no one here at all. Yeah, I can say I don't want coach parties coming up but I think most people don't know about this place obviously locals do but other tourists don't it's a bit of a shame because there's so much beautiful countryside in South Wales and people just drive past it you should come to Wales anyway time for a cup of tea I think so it is raining quite heavy at the moment. I managed to find a little spot under the overhang out of the rain. So it's time for a cup of tea. Subliminal messaging. Anyway, what's the biscuit of choice today? I've gone back to the old faithful. A digestive. Very trouble with this cup. It's not designed for Dunkin' Biscuits. Mmm, good. So I'll sit here for five minutes, set out the rain. Well, I've just left the waterfall. Probably can still hear it in the background. And now I'm walking up to the top of the mountain. It's a flat top mountain and you can see great views down the valley and just look at those colours today. By the way, if you find these videos or any others worthwhile, 
you can say thank you now with a super thanks button. You don't have to, but every little helps. It goes to my villa in the south of France appeal. <laughs> Who remembers that from Tis Was? Green Nigel. I can't believe how quiet it is. I keep saying it. It's amazing. Well, I've made it up to the top of the mountain. Got great views down the valley. And the rain's held off, but there's black clouds coming in. So I'm gonna do a quick up and down. Oh, we're missing, back to the car park. And that's about three miles total. But if you did want to continue, you can go uh, walk around the ridgeway here, back down, down to the village and around to the car park. And that's about six miles. That road, I don't know if you can see it, on the other side of the valley. That's the road we took when we were doing the Honda review a few weeks ago. And that goes up to the Brecon Beacons. So that's not that far away as well. But anyway, we see some more walks in Wales, some more hidden places tourists miss out. They're coming up next, and I'll see you in one of those. I'm going for a warm cup of tea now, I think. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs>